So today we're going to be doing an IDEX snap test to test our foal's IgG levels to make sure that she received enough passive transfer of immunity from her mother's colostrum. So you want to ideally do this within 12 hours of the foal being born. We are a little bit late, we're doing it at 24 hours. Um, if the foal has poor IgG, she may need a plasma transfusion. So we're going to get started. So we're going to first take the lid and the dropper top off of the diluent bottle. Okay, like that. Now we're using fresh blood that we just drew. Um, so you're gonna need two droplets of the blood. So we're gonna take it from inside the cap here. He's got these tiny little hoop droppers. Um, we're going to use both of them. So we're gonna just dip just the top in to fill that little loop with blood, tiniest little bit. And you're gonna put that into the solution and swish it around. Make sure that it clears out of that loop. Not quite all cleared out there. Okay, pretty well cleared out there now. And then we're gonna use the second dropper and we're gonna go in and we're gonna get a second dropper of blood. Go in and swish that around your solution. I'm gonna put this away. So you want to make sure that's completely off of the end of your loop there. Okay. Put your dropper end back on. Put your cap back on. And we're going to shake that back and forth about five to ten times. Now, these are all at room temperature. They are stored in the fridge, but you have to make sure that room temp before you go to use them. We're going to get rid of the first 10 drops of this solution. We're just going to pour them out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to come over here, one drop to cover the whole window. Here we go. It's covering that whole window there. You're going to take your conjugate and you're going to dump it into that window you're going to dump the whole bottle make sure that whole bottle goes in okay now that blue solution is going to come up here and as soon as it gets to the very tip start coming into that full window we're going to snap the test so we're going to wait we're going to wait this should be on a flat surface Okay, it's coming in that window. Snap, and we're gonna wait seven minutes now. Now you're, now you're going to compare the drops to the drops on the instruction manual. So what I'm looking for is for this bottom drop to be lighter than the left top drop. And you're going to try to compare the bottom to the top right. So I'd say we're somewhere around either this one or this one. It's kind of hard to tell if those two drops are the same or if that one's slightly lighter. But we're somewhere around 800 mil, uh, milligrams. So that's good. 800 IgG is what we're looking for. Over 800 is ideal, but we want to be around that 800 mark. Under 400 is not good. That's failure of passive transfer of immunity. So we're pretty happy to be somewhere around the 800 marker.